you have two patch of the garlics. This is a smaller bulbs that were not big enough to create big reasonable bulbs. So I planted them separately. And we use them as a spring garlic, like a spring onion. And the bigger bulbs, we planted them in this bed and we use them and let them to go to create big bulbs. As you can see here, the bulbs are growing. So we have two separate systems. So we have two different systems for growing garlic. This will be our spring garlic bed and I'm harvesting them. I'll wash them and I'll chop them and uh, put them in the freezer bag, leave them in the freezer. And whenever we want, we take a few, directly put it in the uh, food. That will be any food that you can use, you know, uh, stews, soups and anything. And by the way, these garlics are our own uh, garlic seeds, so from our own bulbs, I should say, last year ones, and just have picked the biggest and best ones to grow this year for the bulb, and this is smaller ones for as the spring garlic harvesting. This is now end of the May, and I'm harvesting them. I could have harvested them one or two weeks earlier, even. Or even harvest as we go, that would have been also an idea, as we need it. And now we use this bed after this for growing potatoes or growing other things. They are under this big apple tree, so it's well shaded and at the same time, the apple tree takes a lot of uh, water, so potatoes probably are the best to get rid of the weeds also. Okay, I now have uh, cut the roots and the top of the garlic. This will go into the compost and rinse them here. I'm now going to completely wash and rinse them. Garlic is a disinfectant, it's antibacterial, so practically we don't need more than washing it, don't need anything else. We don't need disinfectant, this is a disinfectant itself. Now I'm putting them here to rinse and then I will take them just for chopping, using some of them as green garlic, like a spring onion, you can use them. And the rest will be chopped to be used as ingredients in any stew or any food that we are making. And as you can see, I'm now uh, rinsing them here. And after that, I just immediately take them to the kitchen. So everything done out of the kitchen environment where I can actually splash a lot of water. And that's it.